is match your seams up. Now you might say, oh, but you know, I've got, if I match those seams up, I've got this hanging off this side and um, okay, I'm gonna tell you, let's match the seams up. We're not going for, I will show you how to fix that. But first we have to match the seams because if your seams don't match um, and you sew your quilt together, you, well, you know what that's going to look like. You're going to have a seam over here, then you're going to have another one up here, and there, it's all going to be crooked. So match the seams up first. If you've got to, if you've got to pull it over a little bit, you just pull that over a little bit, okay? Okay. You want those seams to lay right next to each other, okay? Now, let's do this side first. This side looks good. It's pretty even. This side, this was my treble side. I was like, oh, I either pressed that wrong or I, you know, a little eighth um, or a sixteenth of an inch here, a sixteenth of an inch there. And I'm thinking um, it was this little seam right here. In fact, I can see, do you see how I ironed it? And what I could do is pull that just a little bit and maybe, let's see if I can get some of that off. Always look at your seams. This is why you have to be really careful ironing and I was probably talking to one of my children when I did that. So that's gonna give me a little bit more. Okay. Now what you might be tempted to do is cut off the, the part hanging over. Oh, but look, that actually kind of fixed it a little bit, but I still have about a fourth of an inch and I'm still not worried, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm still gonna line it up right at the end this time after I pin my seam. Pin your seam, then take your compensation or take what's um, over and still line it up on the end. If there's a little tiny bit hanging over, okie doke, not a big deal, okay? Then, when you when you bring this under the, the needle, okay, you are going to, and I'm just gonna pin this down here, you're going to, when you get to this, this part, just kinda give it a little gentle tug as you're bringing it through, okay? Just a little one. If you have like a half of an inch hanging over, I would suggest redoing the block. Um, if the if if you think that you can't fudge it just a little bit, um, nice and gently, then redo your block. Okay, so here is um, the block that I had a little trouble with. Um, that the border was a little bit too long, and I have matched my seams up pretty well and you can see that I just went ahead and I pinned it to match the edge okay and you can see that there's a little bit more in here than should be so what we do is we put it under we've got it pinned to where it should be okay and I've got a little bit of extra in there and we're gonna go ahead and sew now as I start getting to this where it's a little bit too much, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna give it a little tiny tug to lay it flat, okay? So do you see what I'm doing? And this is to fix a mistake that is a quarter or under a quarter, you know, under quarter mistakes are better <laughs> to try and fix instead of, if you've got a whole half inch, then maybe we should redo the block don't worry, it's still going to be pretty, okay? So here we go, line that up, and give it just a little pull, just gently, don't stretch it to, to um, an oblivion there, or too, too much, okay? Make sure you stay lined up on the edges. Give it a little bit of a stretch. 
just a little bit. So when you get down here, I'm going to skip it a little bit and have your little stick handy. Always um, be careful about your seams underneath because if you're not paying attention, you could accidentally sew it the wrong way and then your the back of your quilt is a mess. Okay. got my pin. Okay. And keep right. oh. <laughs> oh, I'm batting a hundred today with the pins. There you go. Okay, now see, I, if I had just kept sewing, I could see that underneath here, my seam was laying the wrong way. And you don't want to, let us try and even though Nobody might see the back. I always like to make sure that my back of my work is as pretty as the front. You never know who might take your quilt apart and look at the back. I gave my brother-in-law one time, my sister, a very pretty piece of embroidery and framed it. And he took the whole frame apart and looked at the back of my work. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> But you never know. There are people like that and they might peek. <laughs> okay, now let's take a look at that really quick. Okay, so see? And we're gonna iron it nice and it's still and it looks good still. Okay, so that was a mistake and we fixed it. We fudged it just a little bit. Okay, 